Okay, welcome. Here we are. We're going to unbox the box. So I'll start by just explaining to everybody what box I'm referring to here. This is a box that was put together by Ken Daniels. Ken Daniels is the voice of the Detroit Red Wings. He used to work at, uh, he was at CJCL. He was at CBC calling games before he ended up in Detroit. But Ken is a great guy. He's an FOTM. He's been on a couple of times. And he was going through some stuff, and he told me he put a box together for me. So Ken, I guess he was visiting family here in the GTA. He drives this box from his home outside of Detroit, a suburb of Detroit. And uh, a lovely FOTM named Leve Fumka took it. I think we're in, I don't know, North York here. Took it from Ken. So Ken drops it off at a condo for, for Leve Fumka. Lieve Fumka brings this box to TMLX8, and then at TMLX8, I bring it home where it's been sitting for the last, I don't know what that is, two weeks almost. And today, live on this stream here, I'm going to open the box and find out what the heck is inside. So I put a camera, there's a camera on me right here, and there's a camera on the box. And hopefully you can get a, a see what I see as I as I open this thing. So, without further ado, as it's seven thirty on the nose, I'm going to open the Ken Daniels box. Remember what Maestro Fresh Wes once wrapped? They broke into the vault of Capone, couldn't find Jack, so they all went home. So let's see what's in the Ken Daniels box and if I can find Jack inside there. Okay. I hope there's something in here. I'm very excited. I'm very excited that I'm opening the box. Hello to Langer. Hello to YYZ Gord. You're witnessing history here. This is the Ken Daniels box. What's inside of this box? I've successfully got through the tape. Here we go. Okay. What's in the box? I should point out this box is very heavy. Like, I don't have a weight for you, but uh, Lieve Fumke can attest to the fact this is a heavy box. Okay. All right. So here we start with... The great, this is the book. This is the score book from the opening of Sky Dome. It says collector's edition on it. So the very first item in the box is a collector's item score book from the opening of Sky Dome. And of course, that means, I mean, <laughs> the ads are priceless. Like, I'm just going to pop open here. But uh, we're off to a great start here. There's a scorecard. It's Blue Jays versus Milwaukee B Brewers. Uh, you know, you can get yourself a handy calculator. There you go. An ad for Canadian here. Okay, so the now defunct airline. Honda was the official wings of the Toronto Blue Jays. Excellent. So where will I put everything? I'm just going to move my board over here. So, wow. Collector's edition scorebook <laughs> from the first Sky Dome game. Okay, what's up next? Wow, there's a lot of books here. Okay, this is called... Blue Jays Jazz. It's got George Bell on the cover. It's the 1988 edition by David Driscoll. And I get to go through that. This is some retro gold. I cannot believe what's in this Ken Daniels box. This guy knows me well. All right. Okay. All right. This is uh, from FanFest 1991. It's a program for the Blue Jays. I mean, wow. What's going on here? What's going on here? Wow, FanFest 91. All right. Okay, okay, wow, okay. The 1989 All-Star Game was in, uh, it was in Anaheim, I believe, and this is the program. So, oh, shout out to the Marlboro Man who's on the, the back cover here. It's a program from the 1989 All-Star Game. Okay, oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. Here, I'll open that flap here. 
So this is from 1977, the first year of the Toronto Blue Jays. This is a sticker. It seems to be a uh, Toronto Blue Jays sticker. Wow. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, the Sporting News 1988 baseball year. It's got the Blazing Blue Jay. Toronto's George Bell's on the cover. Now, we don't win the pennant that year, and we didn't the previous year, but George Bell was the MVP of the American League the year before, so got him on the cover of the Sporting News 1988 baseball yearbook. And then, of course, remember, cool and mild today. Cigarette ads all over the place here. Wow. Okay. Summer of 41. This is, uh, it's not from 1941, but it's something put together on uh, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, by the way, we say no to illegal drugs. Thank you, Toronto Blue Jays. Our youth are our most valuable asset. Okay, awesome. All right, wait, where's Brian Gerstein when I need him? Where is Brian Gerstein? Shout out to Labatt 50, by the way, but here's a program from the Montreal Expos. Wow. Delino de Shields on the cover. Wow. Wow. Baltimore, Baltimore, I guess I'm Baltimore. Can I speak? Baltimore Orioles Silver Anniversary. There's an autograph on here. I'll have to figure out who it was. But uh, there's a nice program from the Baltimore Orioles. Hey, the 91 All Star Game, which I attended the, uh, the Home Run Derby Day, whatever that was called. But do I have the right year? Yeah. Okay. So it's a program from the 1991 All Star Game. Okay, okay, Blue Jays. This is from the 1983 season. Dave Steeb is on the cover. The story of the Amazing Jays, the 1983 season and i think that's a young mike holding up a blue jay pennant on the back of this thing i'm not I'm not sure but wow i mean i'm getting oh my gosh look at these photos dave collins rance mullinix jim gott wow ernie witt breaking up a double play buck martinez we'll be talking about him tomorrow in the backyard with hebsey oh wow wow okay what else we got no wonder it was so heavy. I got a lot to go through here. This is a Shoppers Drug Mart Blue Jays calendar. 1985, the drive of 85. This is the, the Blue Jay calendar you would get at Shoppers Drug Mart. Bobby Cox. Honestly, shout out to Bobby Cox. Willie, Willie Upshaw, number 26. Lloyd Mosby. Bill Cottle. Wow, George Bell. He was my favorite. And here's the configuration of Exhibition Stadium, of course. Wow. Got to keep my eye. Got to keep my eye on the comments here as they come in here. But uh, <laughs> can Expos and Blue Jay boxes survive in the same box? What was that? The Prentice Cup? Is that what they called it when the Blue Jays and Expos would play that exhibition game every year? Okay. 1984. A year I remember. The Blue Jays calendar from 1984. Shoppers Drug Mart. This is some serious vintage memorabilia. Dave Steeb again. Wow. All right. Another, this is the Shoppers Drug Mart calendar from 1983. This is actually the first season I followed the Blue Jays, 1983. I discovered them that summer. And I can't wait to go through the, I can't believe it. I want to hang this up. Damaso Garcia, Buck Martinez again, Lloyd Mosby, of course, Shaker Moe. Jesse Barfield, who I'm trying to get on Toronto Miked. Oh, here's uh, like a, the season summary. It's a 1994. 1994. What a season that never happened. Well, it started and then it did not finish. And there was no World Series in 1994. So this must have gone to the press gallery or whatever. So that's the 19. And this is the 1994 organization guide. So again, they had all the hopes, all the intentions of finishing that season. All right. Top of the world, the Toronto Stars tribute to the 1992 Blue Jays. I actually own the Drive of 85 uh, that the star put out, but I don't have this one. Oh, <laughs> we've canceled one of these guys. There's, yeah, it looks like we got uh, Dave Winfield on the back, and there's Roberto Alomar, and there's Joe Carter on the front. Wow. 
And here, I'm just going to run down. These are just scorebooks, of course, the programs you get at the, uh, at the Dome. This is from 92. Looks like David Wells on the cover. This here is Joe Carter. This is uh, a 1991 scorebook. All righty. Oh, got to get a longer cord. Okay, this is from the X to the Sky Dome. This is of uh, 1989. We're seeing Jimmy Key on the cover of that. Wow. What's this? Okay, 1987. It's got a little bit of a retro uh, feeling on the cover here, but it's another program. Just check it. I got to check all this out. Wow. Okay, the, the 10th anniversary, of course, was 86. And this is a spring training souvenir program. So many things to, to photograph and archive. Ken knew what he was doing when he said, he said, I don't want this junk anymore, but I know somebody who, who will take it off my hand. Here's the Kansas City Royals 1987 postseason media guide. I'm guessing Ken went to cover the Blue Jays versus Royals in the ALCS back in 1985. <laughs> Ian Service is going to send me all of it. Oh, Jim Sunberg, he hit that bases loaded triple, that little freaking, freaking, okay. Part of my French, but yeah, Ian, send me all your junk, and I'll make a I'll make a, a live stream out of it. Okay, but this is special junk. This is really cool. Uh, another scorebook magazine about the Blue Jays. Okay, that's from 1985 season. Here's another Shoppers Drug Mart uh, calendar. This is from 1991. Jays win the pennant in '91. Uh, here's one. Here's another shot. I got all the Shoppers Drug Mart calendars here. Another 1991. Good, I can sell one. Uh, the year of the dome. Okay, so you're in 1989. I mean, this is the MVP. So you're looking at George Bell on the cover. Another Shoppers Drug Mart calendar. Wow, this pile's getting high. All right, so I'm going to start looking at other things. Then I'll get back to the the magazines. But oh wow. Okay. Oh Canada. Wow. The story of the 1992 World Series champion Blue Jays. VHS. Wow. I don't know what to say. I think I, uh, well, I know I owned it, but I, I'm trying to remember. I guess that was uh, VHS back then in 1992, of course. Whew. Create a new pile for that. What, what do we have here? Glory days. Okay. We now, we've turned the channel. So it's been all Blue Jays all the time. This is Argos. A behind-the-scenes look at the Toronto Argonauts featuring Rocket Ismail. And, of course, you're going to get some John Candy, some Wayne Gretzky, Bruce McNall. This is all about their unbelievable 1991 season. Glory days. Wow. All right. What do we got here? Oh. Bob Elliott. Hey, Bob. He, he had a, a book he wrote uh, with George Bell called Hardball. Shout out to FOTM, Bob Elliott. Ah, all right. What else we got here? No wonder it was so heavy. Road to Glory, an insider's look at 16 years of Blue Jays baseball. This is by Tom Cheek. We all miss Tom. Blue Jays baseball is on the air. That's something I got to check out. Tom Cheek. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Is there an MS-DOS 3.3 manual in there? Very funny. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. It says, Clubhouse. This gets me into the 1983 American League Championship. No, sorry. I'm sorry. My eyes are bad. 1993. Better, because that's here. The 1993 ALCS uh, it gets me into game three, four, and five. It gets me into the clubhouse. You just got to pin this on your jacket and you can come and go into the clubhouse for games three, four, and five of the 93 ALCS. I am so there. That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to put that here. Oh, yeah, I had this one too. This is the 1992 World Series VHS uh, cassette. Uh, everything about the Jays versus the Braves. All right. Another Shoppers Drug Mart calendar. This is from 
1987, that's the uh, season I try to forget, although I loved George Bell's season until he stopped hitting in the final month of the season. He did win the MVP. And 1996, okay, this is uh, post-World Series. We've got uh, Blue Jays, they turned 20. There's their, This is at the Dome, of course. That looks to be another Shoppers Drug Mart calendar. What's this? This is the Media Information Guide and Scorebook for the 1991 League Championship Series. The Blue Jays, spoiler alert, they lose that series. All right, what do we got? Oh, wow. Woo, Grey Cup. The 1982 Grey Cup. And there's a bookmark in here. I just want to see. Oh, I see. What's he got? Oh, my goodness. Oh. It just tells you when the Edmonton Eskimos, they don't have that name anymore. That's how old this is. When they have the ball, and then when the Argonauts have the ball, and it lets you know who's on offense and who's on uh, defense for the, the, the Eskies. Uh, wow. Okay. Really cool. And there's a, you know, all the bats stubby there. Okay. All right. Here we go. 96. Okay. Toronto, spoiler alert, Atlanta had the Olympics in 96, but Toronto gunned for it and was one of the finalists. And I remember watching the results live on TV. And this seems to be related to Toronto's 1996 Olympics bid. Oh, this is why it's so heavy. These books are heavy. Okay. A series for the world. This is all about the first ever international uh, world series, 90, 1992. And I think this is why this is a heavy one. Gonna get that down there. That's a bit, that's a big book there. Okay. All right. All right. Of course, much lighter. But uh, this is of course the 1992 Toronto Blue Jays uh, book, and this is by Scott Morrison, also an FOTM, who we got on the cover here. You got some. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You got uh, you got Jack Morris. You got Jimmy Key. Yeah, you got Ed Sprague. You got Joe Carter. Awesome. And. Shout out to Drake. This is the back to back. This is also by Scott Morrison. Some great photos in here. It's all about the uh, yeah, but winning back to back World Series here. Wow. Okay. So what was in the box? Let's see if there's anything more in the box. Oh, this is the 1993 World Series uh, VHS cassette. Phillies versus Jays. I don't have anything to play it on. But I think it's cool that we have it. So, <laughs> what do we have here? We have a whack of great, like, retro memorabilia, a whole bunch of Blue Jay stuff, a little bit of Argos. Uh, well, very little Argos, but and there's a titch. There's even some Olympics stuff, and there's a great cup thing in here. But primarily, this is uh, baseball stuff and Blue Jay stuff and vintage uh, Shoppers Drug Mart calendars and scorebooks. And books that uh, Ken Daniels collected, you know, while he covered the team here. And he obviously was doing some spring cleaning. And I know it's not the spring, but... And he said, you know who might appreciate this memorabilia? Toronto Mike. So I want to say thank you with all my heart. Thank you to Ken Daniels for thinking of me and for putting together this box. I just found out what's in there now. But I have to dive deeper into stuff and archive this, that, and the other and share it on Twitter and on torontomike.com and, and elsewhere. Maybe there's some items here that require a 2.5-hour deep dive with Cam Gordon. Who knows? But thank you, Ken, for thinking of me. That is awesome. You could have given this to any Jays fan out there, but you said there's only one guy who's stuck, stuck in 1983 to 93. That's Toronto Mike. So thank you, Ken. Thanks to anyone who... Uh, like, what did that take? We did it in pretty quickly, you know? If you gave me 20 minutes of your time to watch this unboxing, you never know what's going to be in the box, but I'm quite uh, quite pleased with this haul. I can't wait to go through the Shoppers Drug Mart calendars. Uh, any pictures of B. Arthur? What's going on? A lot of memories in here. Uh, you know, from Garth Orge to, to Ernie Witt. And let's shout out the great trifecta. Dave Steeb. Jim Clancy and Jimmy Key. I am back live here tomorrow for uh, a double header because Mark Hebsher is making his way to my backyard because we're going to be live for Hebsey on Sports. And then we're going to have the quarterly uh, sports media roundtable. I got Fast Time Milan and Hebsey ready to go tomorrow. And can't wait. There's so much ground to cover. 
And maybe I'll even reference this, this, this box I received. So thanks for joining me. If you missed this at live.torontomike.com where nothing is recorded, I actually simulcast it on my Facebook as well. So a recording of this unboxing will live on the Toronto Miked Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Toronto Miked with a D at the end. See you all at 9.20 a.m. tomorrow for Hebsey on Sports. Again, we'll be very rare. I think it's the second time since the pandemic that Hebsey's live here. And then we're going to have like a little break and then we're going to start up on the same channel, we're going to start up a Toronto Mike episode where we talk about, you know, this, that, and the other. So peace and love to all of you. And thank you to Leve Fumpka for receiving this box from Ken Daniels and bringing it all the way to TMLX8 at Great Lakes Brewery. Uh, you are a vital cog in that chain. No, cogs are in wheels. You are a vital link in the chain that brought me all of this. And I know it was heavy, so we probably needed Juan to carry it because he's the muscle, he's the muscle. All right, peace and love to everybody. Thank you again to Ken Daniels. See you all tomorrow morning.